So today we're in the book of Joel, chapter 3. And this is one of those books that's prophecy fulfilled and prophecy yet to be fulfilled. So listen to the first few verses of Joel chapter 3. For behold, in those days, and at that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into judgment with them there, on account of my people, my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, they have also divided up my land. God did bring Israel back. We know in 1948, they became a nation again and they began to prosper. But God's still going to return more of his people, even perhaps you and I one day to the millennial reign in Israel. But God's gonna deal with the people who've come against his people. And listen to what he says. He, he says something very interesting. Proclaim this among the nations, prepare for war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. And then he says, let the weak say I'm strong. Assemble and come all you nations and gather together all around, cause your mighty ones to go down there, O Lord. So here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna draw all Israel's enemies, it sounds like Armageddon, against Israel. And God says, go ahead, beat your, well, what does he say? Beat your pruning hooks into spears and your plowshares into swords. He says, it's gonna be any way you can get a weapon. It's gonna be a, a huge battle. And then he says, let the weak say I'm strong. And he's talking about Israel. Let them trust in him, let them be strong. God is going to, well, stand up for Israel. And we know right now in our nation, in our world, in our universe, so to speak, Israel is going through some difficult times. There's signs. The book of Joel is going to be fulfilled and God is going to do it. And he says to those who feel weak, those who feel ineffective, let the weak say I am strong. And let me just say this, not only does that apply to Israel, but it can apply to you and I. Those who feel weak, he says, hey, trust in me. I'm going before you. I'm going to do this. And he's made so many promises to you and I. So my sort of end cap would be this. Let those who think they're weak recognize they can be strong in the Lord. This is true for Israel. This is true for you and I. And God is going to do an amazing thing in the end times, which I think we're trafficking in, through the nation of Israel. Joel chapter 3.